girls, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing your timeless bonus um, reading for October. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I do monthlies over there now by element. I also started a new segment called Stop Trying to Make It Make Sense. And it is basically a segment based on healing from narcissistic and abusive relationships. You guys are totally welcome and invited to... Um, share your stories on the chat if you guys would like to do that if you guys are looking for a personal reading all of that will be in the description box below as well as the information for the 50 subscriber giveaway that me and my friend Michaela from the senior group astrology are hosting um the list will be closed december 1st so if you guys are interested make sure that you subscribe over to her channel subscribe to this channel come back to the behind the scenes new moon and libra collaboration and comment subscribe and then on um, december 1st or 2nd we will be going up with a video for further information on how to receive your deck okay um if you're looking for collective messages that will also be on tiktok and that will also be in the description box below all right let's see what's going on scorpio yeah, your, your cards have just been popping out. Painting the roses red and all in the golden afternoon. You're dealing with somebody who's a perpetual liar, Scorpio. So all they do is lie. Like, why are you always lying? Like, they always lying. This person couldn't tell the truth from, the, from a lie, even if they tried. It could be a Sagittarius here with the uh, Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, or a Leo or a Pisces with becoming braver here. Um... This person lies about the dumbest shit here, Scorpio. And when they lie, it puts you in a lot of pressure. Time-wise, you feel in a rush. You feel like you need to move forward. But the truth is that you're supposed to be slowing down with belong to your own dream here. This person has unrealistic expectations of how they want you to handle the situation or handle your life here. And I feel like you're definitely trying to break free of that because you notice that every time you listen to this person's advice, you you get fucked over here with the painting the roses red. It feels like this person always convinces you to do bad shit, Scorpio, and and you just keep getting in trouble for it. And it's not even your fault because it's like you're trying to do things correctly. And then this person comes and tells you, no, that's not correct. So you go back and you try to fix your errors. And your errors were never mistakes to begin with, if that makes sense. Clarify painting the roses red. So it's like doing the work twice. Um, you have the page of cups here. Mm. This person gives especially bad advice when it comes to love. Clarify all in the golden afternoon. Yeah, with the full card here. This person is a big advocate of being single. But because they like to play the field a lot. And I feel like they feel like you should do the same. But with the, it's always tea time, eternity, and this moment of repetition, you're tired of playing the field. You're tired of trying everything under the sun. Even though this person really much, very much wants you. This could be like a wingman of some sort. Like a best friend, uh, uh, an uncle, a cousin, something like that. But this person thinks that love is like meant to be put away and you can access it when you're done playing the field or whatever but in a sense yes but this person is building a lot of sorry baby put it off the charger take it off the charger um yeah this person doesn't This person's idea of what love is or this person's idea of how to express love or when and where to accept love is very distorted. So as you continue to listen to this person's love advice, Scorpio, you keep digging yourself deeper into a hole 
because you realize that you're not happy when you do the things that they tell you to do. With the lover's card in the bottom of the deck and then the six of swords in the bo uh, in the reverse, yeah. This person is very unbalanced. Six of pentacles, this person could be financially stable, but when it comes to relationships, this person is very karmic. And they're giving you karmic advice and you're do making karmic actions because you're not allowing yourself to listen to your heart truly and fully because you're worried about the choppy waters you came from. So let's say you have some type of fear of moving on because the way uh, uh, an, uh, a relationship of unfolded in the past and now this person is telling you well everybody is like that person in the past and that's a negative because you have met several people that are unlike this person but because you keep listening to this person's distorted advice or this person's unrealistic expectation of what a partner should hold or do you keep missing out opportunities on some very special people, on some very special soulmates, Scorpio. And that's unfair to you because you have the potential to develop a really deep and loving relationship. I, I feel like, honestly, Scorpio, for most of you, this is a very meddling parent that does not leave you the fuck alone or does not leave your relationships alone, does not allow you to have free will choice when it comes to who you want to be with and Scorpio you're grown like if you're not a teenager watching this then you have every right to pick whoever the fuck you want to be with stop listening like my, my, my brother told me a long time ago he's a Scorpio he's married to an Aries he said I don't give a fuck if my family doesn't like her because I like her I love her I come home to her every day that's where, that's where you got to be at with your family or with your parents or with your friends. It's like at the end of the day, I'm taking her home or I'm taking him home, not you. So you can leave your hating ass opinions to yourself, basically. Clarify the page of cups. Uh-huh, the lover here. Look, you have the lovers right here and you have the lover right here. You're very much sad that this person that you let this person go so okay Scorpio you've recognized your mistakes and you've taken accountability you've also taken accountability for some of the bullshit that this person advice fucking caused because you still you know paid for your actions the consequences of your actions were definitely um outlived here you could have had some karma over it and now that you're clearing that karma you're just like i wonder if this person will take me back with the full card in the reverse with the six of swords you don't know you're definitely brought blocked from this person's energy because you're still tied and connected to this person from the past or the the um this parent or this guardian whoever this best friend that gives terrible advice whatever it is here because you're still connected with them it's really hard for this person to fill your energy or for you to fill theirs. So it's almost like the connection is numb. Clarify the full card. Room. Yeah, there's definitely a separation here. And you wish there was it. You could have dealt with somebody in the past here that you gave a lot of love to that kept you in a third party for way too long Scorpio to the point where it was like a detriment to yourself you weren't loving yourself anymore and you weren't allowing yourself um, to progress forward and you feel like you had to stay in that relationship because nobody else was gonna love you or care about you the way that this person did and Scorpio that's a negative like this separation from this person, this true soulmate that you have right here, could be a Gemini with the lover's card, doesn't have to be, could be a Leo or a Pisces, but this person is the one that truly cares for you, and you knew it, I want to say the moment that you met this person, 
the moment you met this person Scorpio your whole world changed everything in it and the only person that doesn't appreciate the change that had come the wreckage the catalyst that this person was in your life is a person that doesn't want to see you progress forward with them the only person that does not want to see you progress forward with them but you're still loyal here and i think this person is loyal to you it could be a virgo with the serpent card six of swords in the reverse the wedding because you fantasize about having a true full-blown commitment with this person but because whoever it is here that you're seeking um blessings from because if it is a parent like oh i just want you to bless our union i want you to bless that we're going to be together that we're going to be together for a long time you you need to seek that acceptance from god honestly because the person that you're dealing with is narcissistic and they will not bend and bow to that god gave you this person and this person was given to you and you were given to them as a beautiful package of love with the lover's card here this is a true soulmate pair you have to have the courage to seek out this person and talk about the imbalances that happened in the past be open and honest that there was a controlling factor in this relationship be honest and open that there was somebody giving trash as advice and information that you were following whatever it was take accountability in front of this person's face so that they understand that it wasn't them because i think that a big part of what's keeping this relationship separate is that this person because they don't hear from you because they don't know what's going on they blame themselves and it wasn't their fault and you don't you don't blame them for anything i don't think you hold them accountable for anything even though you know there may have been some toxic issues in between obviously but overall you hold this person very much on a high pedestal still and you want to give this person the world if you had it and you feel like you're going to tr I, I feel like you want to but you haven't yet taken the action you haven't tried yet you don't know if this person is going to reject you or not So it causes a lot of despair, possibly some depression here. Yeah, with frivolity here. It makes you fucking sad. You're really sad and depressed without this person. And it's like the depression like comes and goes in waves. Because I feel like you're very much committed to yourself. And you're very much committed to a job here of some sort. But... It's like all of that distraction is only going to work for so long. At the end of the day, you're gonna, it's going to be too much to bear, too much to handle. You're going to reach out to this person. But if you're going to reach out to this person, just make sure you have the right intentions. Make sure that you do this right. Do not go rushing into anything that is not going to make you happy. Even though this person, you, you believe in your heart, this person is the only missing piece in your puzzle like you have to believe that this person is a person you know allow them to be human allow them to be vulnerable around you because if not then this isn't going to work and this person is just going to continue to blame themselves for things that really they have no control over final messages here for scorpio You can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That right time will be the best time when the readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. This relationship, this soulmate connection, is protected from a higher force. All you have to do is have the courage to move forward and, and take action. 
Scorpio, because if you don't take action, you will continue to be in and out of this despair, in and out of depression, in and out of this unhappiness that this virility that this person keeps on putting you under is going to get worse. I feel like for your own mental health, for your own spiritual health, seek out this person. Get this reconciliation. Get peace in your life. Even if you guys don't get back together, at least allow yourself to make peace with what happened in the past so that both, both, of, both parties can move on successfully. Alright, that's what I have for you, Scorpion. I hope this helps. Bye.